My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hot diggity dog, we have another amazing car right here. This 66 Corvette has the numbers match 427, 425 horsepower motor, four speed, 410 gears, gorgeous car to look at. And I'm telling you, the restoration is exceptional. This is a nut and bolt meticulous restoration. And not only did they replace or restore everything, they, they did it right. Everything fits, feels, and functions really good. This is a good one. Exceptional car. Uh, anyway, go to volocars.com. That's where you can study the pictures, read the full description, and that's where you find price tags on all of the collector cars that we do offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, tops down, let's go for a spin. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Look at the undercarriage pictures of this car. It's just absolutely immaculate. Looks like it's not even been driven yet. So the body was off the frame. The underbody is about as best as I've seen them. It's raw fiberglass, kind of a yellowish fiberglass. That's the way they left the factory. A lot of times you'll see them, they've been spray painted black or cleaned up. This fiberglass looks new. I don't know how they got it so clean, but the bottom of this car is mint. No signs of damage. You got the spare tire carrier. All of that looks mint. And there's an optional lock for that. That's actually in the glove box i just seen. Then the whole chassis was restored. The frame was prepped and painted and all the components, uh, steering, suspension, all of it redone. The bushings, ball joints, springs, uh, you know, steering components, front and back, you name it. It's all been restored and replaced and detailed. When all the suspension and everything was put together, all painted, detailed. They even went as far as putting the assembly line markings uh, back on. If you uh, look at the pictures, you see a blob of yellow paint or blue paint. That's the way they went down the assembly line. It let the workers know what part was what. Um, so anyway, the whole chassis and suspension detailed. It is independent suspension front and back and uh, has four-wheel disc brakes in 66. So the whole brake system's redone, the e-brake cables, the brake lines, the hoses, the calipers, everything looks new. Uh, nothing's old or greasy or corroded, very fresh. You look up at the motor, you could eat off the oil pan. The whole motor is immaculate. Uh, it has the correct screw-on canister oil filter, uh, what looks to be the correct starter. Uh, it has the right amount of overspray on the bell housing. When they painted the motor, they let the orange overspray get on the bell housing. Uh, and then you got the correct Muncie transmission that's in there. Uh, there is a VIN number that matches the car. The casting code is correct. I'm pretty certain about the VIN number. Look at my ad and the pictures online. Pretty certain the trans has the VIN number on it. The rear end. Uh, it's coded and dated, correct for this car. It's a 410 Posi rear end. All the uh, shafts and U-joints, all that looks restored. Um, the exhaust system, it's the correct exhaust system. They came painted black, that's how this one is. Um, so underneath this car, it's like a model car. It's like something you put in your living room. It's that nice. Now the body is also that nice. Uh, I don't see any damage. I don't see any stress cracks, problem areas. Uh, the body is fantastic. No issues at all. This lid lines up. This whole intersection here, it all lines up square and flush real nice. Uh, this gap here is real nice. The hood is square and flush, fits real nice. The headlights, I'll open them at the end of the video when I back it out. They are perfectly square and flush, fit real good. Nassau blue, it's the original color. It's laid out real nicely. It's a little mark here, and actually it just wiped off. <clears throat> you got the big block hood. 
Um, the metal flake is laid out nice, has a nice smooth, glossy finish. The emblems, the cross flags, the louvers, all that stuff looks new. The bumpers, the wiper arms, all the stainless is polished. The vent window frame is like show quality. You got new rubber. The glass is crystal clear. Door handles, the fuzzy strips are new. They all do this. You have a real faint mark where the convertible top sits on the paint. It's very faint. You, you could rub it out, I'm sure, but you're going to get that. So gas cap looks like new. The lid, emblem, tail lights, uh, bumpers, power antenna that works. So everything on the outside of the car is amazing. The knockoff wheels make the car. They look like brand new, and it has the gold line reproduction tires. The rocker moldings are excellent. Has the bow tie mirror. So, you got one good looking roadster here. Why don't we open it up? I'll show you inside and what's under that hood. All right, I know we're all dying to see what's under the hood, but check out this interior. Look at the door jams, the detail, and the paint, and the rubber. It all fits just right. Door panel is immaculate, including the knobs and handles and the armrest is not cracked. The one flaw that I know of on the car, a little crack right up on top. When you're sitting in the car, you do not see it. It's very minor. It's the only thing that I had found. Other than that, the gauges are all uh, mint. It has the 6500 red line, which is uh, correct for the big engine like this. 80-pound um, oil pressure. The clock is ticking. All the knobs are restored. The radio looks like it's brand new or restored. It works. It's an FM radio with power antenna. Look at the correct shifter. The whole console's immaculate. Look at the seat belts. Cushions in the seats redone, nice and firm, not a wrinkle. The carpet uh, is new and it fits right. No wrinkles, the right floor mats. Uh, interior lights work, uh, behind the seats, all fresh carpet, black convertible top, all restored, the rubber, the framework, the top is new, the backs of the seats, the little bumpers, everything in this car is just so nice. The visors, the mirror, the inside trim. Okay, now this motor. I just looking around on the internet and car and driver was describing this car. It had some neat terminology that I'm going to use. Uh, it says it has the torque of a steam locomotive, 460 pounds of torque, uh, 425 horses that have the power that man has never seen. Uh, driving this car, they said, overwhelms the senses. Back in 66, they have 425 horsepower in a little sports car, a little lightweight roadster was just crazy. And it still is today. Uh, but these motors, they had a 390 horsepower and a 425. They are very different. Uh, this had some uh, improvements to the strength of the block. Um, this has a, a free flowing aluminum intake, um, a solid lifter cam. Uh, giant uh, holly carb, dual feed carb. Um, the list goes on of all the differences uh, in this motor versus the 390 horsepower. Now we've uh, cross-referenced all the casting codes, the date codes, uh, the stamp on the front of the block. It has the brooch marks. Everything looks proper. Uh, all the dates correspond properly. And this thing is detailed, as far as I know, to Concourse specs. Uh, it has a little bit of orange overspray on the aluminum intake, the correct hoses and clamps, the ignition shielding with the covered wires, um, the deep groove pulleys, the fan, the radiator cap, the radiator itself. Everything is so detailed out. New wiring harness, 
Wiper motor looks brand new. It has the correct battery cables. This is an outstanding, uh, detailed, fresh restoration. So I had said earlier, this car feels and functions right too. That, that's a big deal. You can have a car where they just replaced everything, all reproduction parts, things won't fit, things will be loose, and you, know, you get all these excuses. Well, it just needs a screw, or it just needs a little glue, or it just needs this or that. There's nothing to excuse on this car. I mean, it is right. Door shut nice, headlights both operate at the same time smoothly. Uh, it just feels really good. It, it runs and sounds exactly like it's supposed to, no more, no less. Um, from, from what I see with this car, it's one of the exceptional cars. I think anyone would be really happy to own this. Um, and just the thought of it on a nice summer day, that 427 engine shifting those gears top down and the, the sound it's going to make it's going to be amazing so someone's going to be really really lucky to own this investment of a corvette but that's my impression go to volocars.com speak to a salesman if you have questions or concerns they can certainly help you the best they can uh, they can help get this delivered to your driveway they can help you finance it that's all at volocars.com if you enjoy the videos, which I really hope you do, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.